Hi, in this uh, video tutorial, I want to introduce mentary proxy object. We use mentary proxy object in two situations. One is uh, when you have the scene and uh, there are some high poly object in our scene that cause we couldn't work well, we couldn't rotate or move in our scene easily. And another uh, reason to use the V-ray proxy is, for example, there is a park with uh, 100 seat, 100 chair, or any instanced object. We can use one mentary proxy object instead of using a lot of uh, similar object and make our scene very heavy. And now I want to show both of the situation. Well, I have the interior scene here and uh, the total uh, amount of the polygons is near 217,000 polygons. And I have three ways here with the foliage. If I select them, you can see here, if I select them, you will notice that uh, they have near 100,000 polygons so almost one third of this scene uh, the polygons is just for these three objects actually I am using just a few sometimes you have more and because it is just for learning I use just three ways and foliage Okay, mm, I want to use the proxy object instead of them. First, I will unhide other objects just because I want to show better. Hide unselected. Okay, the two ways, these two are similar, they are copy, and this is different. I will open my material editor and just uh, use the eyedrop to take sample of the material of this. Okay, it has the three materials, three different materials, and the second, because it is similar, I will not take it from this, and it has near 10 different materials. For my rendering setting, I'm not using any special thing, just using the mentare, just switch it uh, to the mentare and everything is as a default. I turn off the final gather and global illumination because we are not uh, talking about them. Well, I select one of them, one of the objects. Go to modify, make sure there is an editable mesh or editable, editable uh, poly and attach the two others. The first object when I attach it, uh, okay, they are similar, but the second time that the second object when I click attach because it has a different material IDs, it will ask me how to attach them. Just leave it as a default and hit the OK. If I go to my material editor and now I take a sample of these objects that now they are all in the same uh, mesh, it will give me 13 material ID. It automatically will sum both of them. Okay, so now there is just one object. Well, I will go to uh, in the geometry create panel and I will choose the mentor ray from the list there is just one button here mentor ray proxy I will select it and click and drag somewhere 
the size of this domain is not important and also the position is not very important but it is better to just put it as the sum center the z position when you create it is absolutely at the zero and do not try to uh, move it uh, change the zero for the z axis okay the dummy of the mentor proxy is selected I will go here I have the source object click on the none and select my uh, foliage it will add these uh, foliage that now they are as the same with the unique name of the waste tree I will select them if I want to delete just uh, hit this clear source object slot hit this button and after I add this I will need to save it right object to the file I click it and save it it will save as the MIP format so I save it it will give me a panel but uh, I just leave it as a default if I need to if my object are animated I need to use the other uh, two options but it is a seal object so just hit the OK it will start to rendering I don't care what is happening okay it give me the point cloud just increase the amount of the these vertices to see it but I make it 5000 okay they are the point cloud of my waist but the rotate I need to rotate them so I rotate them minus 90 try to position them it will uh, create the proxy object in the zero position X Y Z as a zero I will try to match them with the real uh, object but there is one problem that you can easily see the size the size also has been changed so what is the problem the problem is that we have scaled our object before and we uh, and sorry mentari proxy is reading the real scale of the object so I delete this select my object go to the utilities panel click on the reset X form and while the object is selected reset selected so always if you change actually I, I always suggest never scale your object never use the scale but if you did or if others did and you just find it out use the X form to reset everything right click and convert to editable poly to back them now again I will add the very proxy again go to modify panel now click select write it I will rewrite here replace it will start rendering we don't care we just wait and now everything even we don't need to rotate it just position it in this same place okay and you can increase or decrease uh, this point close uh, I increase it just for matching after that you can decrease it to make 100 be very few now I don't need these ways and just I can delete them you can have a you can save them and keep them for B 
being sure in the future you don't need to use them anymore now if I render my scene you will see that you lost your material the reason is because when you save it with MIP format it will not save your material so you need to select them go to material editor but and uh, last one we take sample from the old tree you need to apply them it will not save your uh, material and map but it will save the other things such as the UV so after you reapply your material the UV of your uh, object will not be changed in this way uh, okay for example uh, you want to have uh, more of this uh, ways instance object if you uh, want you just can hold on the shift and copy them but make sure it is as an instance not copy okay you can make more and when you render it will also uh, speed up your uh, it will uh, decrease your rendering time just because your memory it will free up your memory free up your RAM so uh, your RAM can render faster when uh, you have a lot of object high poly object in your scene 3d max at the first send all the object to the memory then I start to rendering them but when you are using the proxy actually uh, it will first uh, sorry it doesn't need to send all the object at the first to the memory it will keep it and when it is time for rendering that object uh, it will send the data to your memory and after that rendering finish also again will be removed from memory so it is how uh, you can use the uh, mental ray proxy and uh, in decrease actually sorry decrease your rendering time and also decrease your file your 3d max file size now if you save it again and check your uh, 3d max file size you will see it, it has been reduced 